For the first time, Lincoln was able to do a new Navigator from scratch, still based on a truck, but designed from the get-go to be a luxury vehicle. Power and smoothness from the twin-turbo V6 engine and new 10-speed automatic transmission. All the better to give the driver and passengers a quiet ride. And of course, there's the luxury inside, particularly in the top black label trim. If you can think of a feature in an upscale luxury car, you can find it here. Of course, you're also paying a luxury car price. While the new Navigator starts at $72,000, this black label has a bottom line price of just a hair over one hundred grand. The Navigator's longtime rival, Cadillac Escalade, can carry a very lofty sticker price, too. Check every box, and the Escalade just touches the six-figure mark. Of course, the upscale European brands have had a big head start in this arena. Land Rover began selling its premium Range Rover model more than 30 years ago. And today, it seems like the sky is the limit. If you visited the Land Rover booth at last year's LA Auto Show, you might have noticed the ultimate Range Rover called SV Autobiography. A favorite of celebrities and athletes, this one comes in at over 200,000. These will be sold in limited numbers, obviously. Range Rover is actually expanding into the more affordable arena with the new Velar. Base price, 50,000. But 200,000 seems to be the new prestige mark for Euro SUVs. The outgoing Mercedes-Benz G-Class is available as this lifted, widened, in-your-face, 4x4 squared version. You have to literally pull yourself up into it, and you have to pull 225,000 out of your bank account. Upscale buyers don't seem to be batting an eye. The Bentley Bentayga can come in at well over 300 grand, and soon it'll be joined by the Rolls-Royce Cullinan. Expect a price deep into six figures for this one when it goes on sale next year. Ultra-luxury cars, they've pretty much always been around. Now they're joined by ultra-luxury SUVs.